Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade to Lollipop version from Marshmallow or any other custom ROM you have flashed on J7 2015 version. So let's go without wasting any time and it's a very good uh, simple process. It's just a stock deep loaded and DODX ROM in a zip file so you can flash it through TWRP only. So let's get starting to the process. It's very easy. <laughs> So now let's put it to TWRP recovery mode by pressing the volume up button, the power button and the home key at the same time. So as you can see I have installed a custom stock ROM, a ported ROM a 2017 if you know for J7. So uh, let's uh, let me uh, just dim the brightness a bit. Now you can see it properly. So uh, first, if you just want to get a look at the lollipop, you have uh, you have the stock, and so you can back up your whole uh, ROM if you are on a custom ROM on anything, and select storage as micro SD card and flash it. Then go to wipe and wipe everything you have because uh, this is uh, switching from. Okay, do not uh, wipe the micro SD card. So everything is wiped, just go back and install the uh, package given in the link in the description below. It has some minimal GFs and fully de-bloated. It's just 329 MB package, so that's very good. So this is, you can see, Lollipop de-bloated uh, de 330 MB. I have just renamed it. So uh, it's running on the security patch. February 2016 so it's one year ago yes uh, because the lollipop was uh, there the last security patch I think okay so installation is successful just reboot system now so yeah the boot splash logo is same for the if I, uh... oh yeah lollipop so as you can see this boot animation is from lollipop and yeah, it's not a only boot animation, it's fully lollipop. So uh, let's see uh, how many time it takes to boot this uh, up. I'm not going to fast forward. Okay, let me skip this directly. No fast forward and everything. Let me skip this. And as you can see, J7 is back with lollipop version. And it's a true lollipop version. You can also test by the link in the description below. So... And it shows J700M, but it will work on any device as my device is J700F. You can see the baseband version, my device is J700F and I'm in India. So I cannot get a J700M version. And yeah, it is truly lollipop. You can uh, check it with other apps if you don't trust me. It will work on every J7 device. See, this is lollipop. Oh, I have failed everything. So, and it's very smoother. See this camera, it fully works, it's uh, no jokes are here and it's a fully working thing. So welcome back J7 users to Lollipop and you can enjoy this feel. So if you like this video on how to get the uh, Lollipop version on J7 and how to downgrade it, so please press the like button. And show your love towards me and also go to the XDA forum uh, for uh, thanking the developer of this ROM very very uh, it's like uh, too much thank you for him so he has done a good work for us the battery backup is very awesome uh, if you're not getting please calibrate the battery because lollipop has no like those mode and everything nothing is there but it works fully powerfully and this is fully uh, like uh, it's a fully de-bloated DODX so you can easily add system apps if you want so as you can see like mini G apps no other Samsung apps are present like that bloatware is not present on your phone so please comment for any issues regarding this if it's not flashing by you or if it's not working for you and please subscribe for more awesome videos and check out my channel there are many J7 ROM videos if you missed and also if it's uh, stuck in at a boot loop or anything please comment down below i will always help you and thank you for watching this video goodbye 
Bye, 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 bye.